Hi everybody. Hello Entropians. It's me, Mikhail, and I can't wave at you because I have a mission window open and until I click the word OK, right there, I can't wave. See, watch. I'll try and wave. Oh wait, I can wave! Oh god, I probably just didn't click it. <laughs> oh, I've missed you. I've missed all of you. So yeah, anyway, I got a messaging game from a player who likes to watch my videos. And he's like, please, 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 can you show us how to make PED? Apparently he's a new player and just hasn't figured out that you can't make PED in this game unless you spend PED, because it takes PED to make PED. Anyway, yeah, the old adage is true in real life, just like it is in a real cash economy. However, there are some things you can do. And a lot of them have been talked about, quote unquote, to death. So this is my tongue-in-cheek take on how to make PEDs in Entropia Universe. Um, first of all, I recommend doing missions. There's noob missions everywhere. And generally, you do them, you get some kind of reward. So then maybe you won't need PED right away because it'll give you a gun, or it'll give you ammo, or it'll give you skill. <sighs> Again, we know all of this, right? So, I was catching up on some newer missions on Rocktropia. Yes, I'm back on Rocktropia. I love it here. I love it. I love it. And there was this new mission called A Tank With No Gas. And where it is, is it's right across from Noobs, 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 that club that you have to hit on one of the first missions. Right across the street from there. And I am talking to Sergeant Bill, there he is. Hi, Sergeant Bill. He looks so angry all the time. But anyway, he told me, kill five players back on the docks, and then whatever. So I did. I had Celine, who volunteered, because what I did is, you know how, like, you need someone in game to be, like, helping you, but you don't know how to get them. So what I did was, in Planet Chat, I said, I need five people to kill on the docks. Any volunteers? And I said we could all do the mission together. So, Celine had responded and said, "Sure, I'll meet you." And it turned out that I was able to kill Celine five times in a row, and I got credit for the mission. So it doesn't have to be five different people, which is nice because some missions they make you do that. I'm pretty sure they at least they used to. And that's a real pain in the ass when you got to kill like 15 people and you got to find 15 different people that are willing to go to the No Way Out prison. <sighs> Even though I think they did change it and you can kill the same person over and over. But anyway, at the end of the mission, so I'm turning it in, I went back and talked to Bill and I'm like, Sergeant Bill, I killed five people. And he's like, yeah, you sucked. You ran around like a chicken with your head cut off and you're a fool and you need to practice more because he thinks I'm a noob. And while I am a noob, I am not a low level noob. So obviously he doesn't understand that, but he is angry all the time. So maybe he's just not listening to me. But in this, what I wanted to get to, and I'm talking a lot because I missed you is that it says, in the meantime, you can make some quick PEDs by collecting oil cans from the docks behind us. Are there oil cans on the docks behind us? I don't know. I don't remember. And it's PVP, so I couldn't tell you, but we're going to go look. So I said, okay. Now, let's go look. Now, let's get our bearings. Actually, let me get our bearings, because I feel like you're not going to know where I am. But where I am is I am at the gas station, right across from Noobs, 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 and I will hit the map so you can see where I am. And I will minimize my tracked missions. So obviously I'm on Rectropia, and I am at New Harlem, right by the Hyperplex teleporter, at the gas station. So that being said, and this is my Laura Croft outfit, look, look. Hello. I'm like Laura Croft, only different. See how nice I look? Oh yes, I look very nice. Okay. Let's go. Because, yeah, are there oil cans behind us on the docks? I have no flipping clue. I would hope that oil cans would be displayed as orange dots, which the dots disappeared off the radar. 
There were a bunch of orange dots. Oh, look, cones. I betcha that's the orange dots. Oh, no, wait. Are there barrels? Come on. There's cones. I don't see any barrels. Because, you know, it would kind of suck if if that was a relatively new mission and they tell you to come back here and take oil barrels, but really there aren't any. I would kind of feel ripped off if that were the case. But I'm going to keep looking because I don't think I have any lo lootable on me. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's not lootable anyway, see? Not a toxic area. You may attack and be attacked, but I don't think you can loot people here. So, oh, look! A free oil barrel! Worth one peck! See? You can make free pet in Entropia! Yes! All right. <laughs> See you in a year when you have two ped to your name. And let's see, are there other barrels? There may be. But anyway, so that's option one for making ped is to hit up an oil rig, which is a real pain in the ass because then you have people who like to quote unquote police the oil rig. And it's like, really? Who gave you the medal? To do that like what who made you the boss but anyway so um oh that looks fun whatever that is so uh yeah what was I saying oh yeah so yeah you can do an oil rig but then someone's gonna PvP you or you can do the docks at Rocktropia because there's not a lot of people that PvP here and I'm going up just to give you a bird's eye view see helicopter landing pad Look how nice that is. I, I like Rocktropia. It's like it's a city, but it's a, a country, but it's a, I don't know, Hollywoodish, a bridge, a bridge to nowhere. I wonder if that's the bridge like in Arizona. Someone was selling. Whee! Okay. And the other fun thing I wanted to tell you about is if you do want to scope out the joint before you come looking for barrels of oil, you can... Wait, one second, I got a cough. I know, and I don't even have any balls to check because I'm a girl. But, um... I've had a nasty cold for two weeks. This is why I can't talk to you people. Because I'm either real busy or I'm sick. I don't even have any little kids anymore, and I still get sick, because I got mono when I went to college as an adult. Yeah, they neglected to tell me mono was going around on campus, and I got really horridly sick, and I was like, what the hell is wrong with me? And the doctor's like, oh, well, you have mono. And I'm like, mono? I'm 38 years old. I don't even kiss my husband anymore. What the fuck's that all about? And the doctor laughed. Of course he did, because that's the kind of shit I say out loud. <sighs> So anyway, ever since then, if someone sneezes in a different county, Mikhail gets sick. And so, yeah. But I don't get anyone else sick, because everyone else's immune system that I know is perfectly fine. And I take antioxidants, and I eat fruit, and I've been healthier, and I'm getting exercise, and I play with my horses, and I still get fucking sick. It pisses me off. It affects my sex life. It's annoying. Because I really do kiss my husband sometimes. Hey, so anyway, I wanted to show you this. So when you're, if you want to scope it out before you go looking for barrels and you feel a little threatened, you could be at the gas station. And if you run inside the gas station behind the tank that is here just merely for looks, even though it is pretty fantastic, then there's this little televator that you can take. It's a little hidden televator. And you can go up one level. And this is where I just came from, was the roof, because I was showing you the back door. <laughs> I'm a back door kind of girl. <laughs> no, I'm not. I know children listen to my videos. I have to stop. So, anyway, that's an exit, not an entry. Oh. Okay. So, anyway, then you're up on the roof, and you can at least see if anyone's hiding to try and kill you, even though it's really not that big of a deal here. 
Phew. Okay, moving on to the next way that I recommend you make PED, which is, see this button up here? <laughs> the one with a D on it? Yeah, that stands for deposit. So you can deposit with four different options. A PED certificate. I've never seen or heard of one of those. If someone's got one of those, please share in the comments below because I've never heard of that. I know NetTeller is Europe and then bank transfer and Visa payment card. So anyway, this is option one. However, I don't recommend it because they take a cut. And what I was going to show you also is, yeah, they take a cut. What I was going to show you was that you can go to the web shop and maybe this will be my very next video, like my part two. And in the web shop, you can buy PED straight up. However, I don't recommend that either because, for instance, you pay 30 US dollars, you get 285 PED, so they're still taking the cut that they take when you deposit in game. However, you don't really get PED, but you do get universal ammo and sometimes some lootable, some, sometimes some rare stuff when you buy strong boxes. And if you buy strong boxes, then you, you get the full value of what you put in. So if you buy 10 US dollars worth of strong boxes, you're going to get the full 10 US dollars, aka 100 PED, worth of junk in game. Most of it will be universal ammo to hunt with, but you may get a pet, you may get a tradable ring, you may get a ring that's not tradable, but it has some buffs. Most of you know this because you have watched Raven Jade's strong box videos, and I think I even made a strong box video once. But that would be my recommendation. The other things are just the fruit gathering and the sweating, swanting. I prefer swanting. If you're going to spend the time standing there sweating a critter, you might as well kill it when you're done and get the loot. So that's, that's it. That's really all I got beyond, like, retail. Now, someone else asked me, how much does a shop cost, and is it worth having one? Well, I own four shops. Is it worth having them? Well, you know, I, I would have spent the money in a bar. So I guess to me it's worth it. But no, initially it's a huge startup cost. I don't know how many of you are familiar with my shops, but for instance, my hell shop, which is just simply a rinky dink stall in hell, cost me $600 US, so 6,000 PED. And while I do get good sales there and I do appreciate all my customers, it still costs me money to craft the things to stock in there and or buy cheaper off auction and resell in there. So while I'm slowly getting sales and slowly gaining ground, for me to make up that 6,000 PED plus my inventory investment, it's going to take me years. Do I keep a spreadsheet to see when my mortgage is paid off? No, because as I discussed in a previous video, I am not that kind of girl. <laughs> So I don't pay attention to dotting my I's and crossing my T's unless I'm at work. This is my escape. This is where I blow money. This is where I don't care. I don't play completely stupidly, even though some of you would argue with that, especially those of you who liked, who did, who disliked my Hermes armor video. And again, it's okay because if you can watch me and go, she's an idiot. She's not playing eco. Well, good, then you know and you learned something. But otherwise, if you watch me and you go, oh, well, she's doing that. That's pretty cool because I didn't know you could do that. Well, then again, good. You learned something. And plus, I had fun making a video for you because I was too lazy to get off my ass and go out and play with my horses right now because I have a cold. See, so it's a win-win no matter what we do. And look him running around. Oh, he just jumped right off the roof. Well, that's because it's not that far down. So I guess, I hope that helps. I mean, honestly, little Pedro who asked me that question, there is no surefire way to make pet in this game because this game changes all the time. So the most successful people I know that make a ton of money in this game, meaning they cycle pets over and over and over again and don't have to keep depositing, 
are either traders who are so on top of the markup on auctions, and I'm not saying necessarily resellers, I'm talking straight up traders that are smart enough to see the trends in game. Like for instance, right now, the, the um, migration is coming up on Calypso. And a lot of people prefer this Arcadian armor, I believe it's called Perseus, for this migration because it's really good protection. It's like perfect armor for the mobs. Well, to craft that, crafters require gold. So right now would be a fantastic time if you can mine for gold successfully and you know where to find it, get your ass out there and do it and get that gold on Calypso Auction right now because now is the time the markups will go up. Same with um, some weapons. If you can get your hands on certain weapons, even some Arcadia guns, if you can tra get them cheaply on Arcadia, transport them to Calypso, mark them up a little bit so that you're making a little bit of money, then on each gun cell, that's that's how they make money. They invest money and then they start, you know, playing the market. They know the game well enough. They can spot the trends and take advantage of the trends. That's it in a nutshell. So in my opinion, is there a good way to make pet and entropia? Not a, no, not really. Not a good way. There are ways to do it. But they change and you have to be flexible and you have to be smart. And like everything else, you don't deserve it. You have to earn it. So I hope my motherly advice has helped you today. Because apparently I'm sounding like a mother hen, even to myself, which is my cue for exit stage left. So until next time, I suppose I should, I should probably face you and wave you, wave at you, maybe. Like, here, hold on. Okay, so until next time, hoff big, be safe, have fun, and TTFN, TGIF, Mikhail out.